Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. That is just the problem. Somebody said, Prophet, you said, see, I want to uh, reach to Uru Zambia for more than 10 years. Look, I even had not just etch it. Jito, Jito Kayumba. I was already organizing him to take over from etch it. I wanted UPND to continue ruling Zambia until 50 years. That was my plan. Why do you think I created the page? But when you are eating, and you are eating alone, and the people that fought with you are starving, you don't go far. That's where the problem came in. That is where the problem came in. That is where the war came in. I said that people that fought must eat. Is it a bad thing? Pressing gas that are hungry, hunger. Ah, see a one. Hey, see a one. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, because PF took money to see a one. PF is accusing me that I built a, a palace because UPND brought money to me. Uh, whatever I'm building, UPND brought money to me. UPND is accusing me that PF gave me money. PF brought me money. That is why I want to support. They even accused me that I, I, I am the one that uh, founded Orca. I mean, I've never, I don't even know who, who Orca is. I don't even know those guys. I don't know anybody. The only person I know in that Orca is Eddie Galungu. Because I fought him. And we don't have any communication. Absolutely nothing. They accuse me this, they accuse me that. They accusing me because you want to eat alone. When you eat alone, you will die alone. I just want to, you know, as I conclude, any moment from now, I, just I explained to you, it was me. How many of you remember the last time you called uh, uh, HH? What, what is that you used to? Man, sorry. How many of you remember the last time you called him a Satanist? I am the one that removed the paint because I took that thing you are calling him and put it on PF. Today, no one calls him those things. So I want to remove that thing that I put on Eddie Galung. Many of you are, ah, Eddie Galung is corrupt, Eddie Galung is corrupt, wah, 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 wah. It's information. And I am the master of information. I am the engineer of information. This is my work. This is my, my daily bread. Information is my thing. I am the one that put it on him. I am the one that will remove him. I just want to tell Eddie Galungu, Fred member, Harry Kalaba, and all other alliance, be strong. Rome was not built in a day. All you have to do, sit down, prepare yourself, and leave the rest for us. The I, this is my work. When I start, a lot of insult comes. Hey, this, hey, that. But the moment I hit the jackpot consistently, 
people will start waking up. When I came to Nigeria, I had a message to liberate Africa. And that message is not usual to what my brothers and sisters in Africa know. So the first day we started our ministry, we were very, very few. And I shared the message to them. Many people ran away. Hey, this one is Satan. This one is blasphemy. What, what, what? But consistently, I started speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking to the people and speaking to the people and speaking to the people. Today, we are leading one of the single largest congregations in Nigeria with the same message. We are leading, look at this, watch this, I want to show you this. We are leading, currently, our ministry here in Nigeria is one of the largest ministries. I didn't change my message. You know what I did? I was consistent. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I mean, I was in Zambia. Even those of you that say, I ah, see, I want to love Zambia, come to Zambia. I was in Zambia. It was not like this. It's a multitude of a multitude of people. Look at that. Look at that. Now, this is outside. Thousands of people that don't have a place to sit inside. They are outside. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This was last Sunday. Last Sunday. Last Sunday that passed. Last Sunday. Look at this. A multitude of people outside. When I started my message, it was not so sweet. People were even afraid. People were calling me, hey, Satan is, is preaching against Jesus. He's preaching against the Bible. Today, look at them. We have overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, overflow four. Look at that. Now, the, look at that. Everywhere, thousands of people. That is how it happens. When I start the message, like now, look at the, the, the vehicles. Now, these are part of the vehicles that we are allowed to come inside the place. Outside, you are going to see a lot. Look at that. The people that you see in this ministry are quality people. From the cars that are packed here, you can tell that the people that are coming to this church are not just nobodies. Look at that. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell. You see? So, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that when we start, many people will be against but as time goes on, they will be waking up. When I started with Eddie Galungu, I remember when I go live, the insult I will receive. Oh, God of Nazareth. UPN is not even insulting me. And UPN is not a lot on the net because majority of them are hungry. I mean, 80% of them are hungry. They don't even have money to eat milli meal, not to talk of buying data. Those days, PF had money and they were buying data. The insult I was receiving. But as time goes on, I continue preaching. I continue preaching. The people started seeing the corruption that was taking place. So, when I speak about HH or when I speak about um, UPND, there are many people, those people that we brainwashed, so many people that we brainwashed, when I started talking about HHS, they said, ah, see, I want, you are now backslide. You have turned against us. You have turned. No, I'm actually fighting for you. I want the president to do the right thing. So when I started fighting, ah, no, see, I want, you are backslide. You are fighting our president. You are what, what, what. But as time goes on, majority of them, I'm telling you that here on my WhatsApp, I swear upon God, Father, 80% of them are UPND. They are, they are here. They are crying. That is why the president went to open the secretariat. Now, look at the uniform of the people that went. Just look at the dress code. You can actually see hunger. Oh, 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 oh. You can see hunger, total hunger. You PND people are hungry. You PND people are poor. Dr. Fred member has more 
presentable cadres than UPND cadres. Hey. <laughs> PF has more presentable cadres than UPND cadres. President HH, this is not how a government is run. You need help. My brother, you may be in your office or in your beautiful bed and you know everything ache on everything is okay for you. Please go out. Do be, behave like Sata. Go out in the compound. At least go with two or three people. Go and make inquiry from there yourself. Then you come back. Your mentality will change. Criminals have surrounded you. And they are giving you fake advices. They are telling you, oh, people love me. Everything is okay. Everything is not okay. From your members, your members are hungry. Let me give you just a snippet of how to take care of your members. Don't tell people to go and start farming. Everybody is not a farmer. There are, this thing is talent. There are, there are people that are created to farm. Here in Nigeria, here in Nigeria, Igbos, from where I came from, we are the people that love business. We don't farm. There are Yorubas. They are educated people. They like office work. They don't farm. Now, there are houses. They love farming. Only. Now, all of us come together. We form one country. When we need food, Hausa people provide. Because we are business people. We pay with the money we made from business. When we need thing of education, Yoruba people come in. All fingers are not equal. Everybody will not be a farmer. This is how to take care of your members. Those people that you are giving contracts that I'm going to come and tell you so that you know that we know. You, got, you give uh, Jungolo Alpha Commodity, you give him contract to so supply fertilizer, 50 million US dollars. He will use 40 million US dollars and supply fertilizer. He will give you 5 million US dollars. And he will take 5 million US dollars. Out of that 5 million US dollars, he is supposed to remove 2 million US dollars and bring it to the party. That money is for people, your party members. That is how politics is done. You give contract to United Fertilizer to say this is 100 million. They supply 100 million. They did a project that cost 60 million. They bring you 20 million. Keep that 20 million. It's your own. That's why you are a president. We know those things. But that 20 million that is remaining from there, they must remove 10 million and put in the party pocket to take care of your cadres. When PF was in power, in as much as I didn't support their criminality, their corruption, this is what they did. PF could give Kalandaya, Kalandaya music, what, what, Said, do this project. This is how much you have quoted. This is your profit. Out of your profit, remove it and bring it here. It even happened in the church. When God bless you with something, you must remove the tithe and give to God. That is the tithe that will be used to run the church. To run the ministry. When you bless somebody with contract, they are supposed to remove something and put in the party. When your people die, they need funeral. People don't go there and eat carpenter. People go there. They eat properly because there is money in the party. But what is happening is that 
Everybody's eating. Minister of Mine, once he received poo, he put in his pocket. Minister of Agriculture, boom. He even went to Rwanda to go and collect millions of dollars. We know all those things, but time has not come. Time is coming. He collect view in his pocket. Everyone get he put in his pocket. You forget the people, your cadres, the people that helped you to enter there. You forget. That is not how to eat national cake. National cake is shared. You must eat your own now together with your people. So that when your time comes to go, you go, other people will come and eat with his own people. It continues rotating and rotating and rotating and rotating. If UPND members are not eating now, when are they going to eat? Are they going to eat when Fred member become president? Are they going to eat when Orca become president? Eh? I feel pity for you. I feel pity for you. There are people that are consoling you, that are telling you that everything is well. Anyway, we shall see as time goes on. So, people, I didn't come to do politics today. When I want to do politics, everybody knows. I just came here to enlighten people on who IMF is and what they mean to us and what they mean to Africa. This is all that I have to say. In case you are here, you watch the broadcast, you are a UPND sympathizer, and uh, you, don't, you still don't understand what I'm talking about. Be patient. Any moment from now, any moment from now, you understand what I'm talking about. This is something that I've done before. This is something that I've done before. Not once, not two. I've done it in Zambia. I've done it in Guyana. I'm about to do it in Zambia again. So it, it changes nothing. It's me. You, you should actually ask yourself, this guy is here one. There is something strange about him. I went to South Africa. I was in Zambia. Eddie Galungu and his uh, party members deported me. I went to South Africa. When I went to South Africa, I said, ah, he will not do it. He will, he will, he will only pull crowd in Zambia. He cannot manage to do it in, a, in, a, in a South Africa. I was in South Africa for only but one year. I managed to have the largest congregation in Limpopo province. Ah, ah he's doing it because South, South, South Africa is close to uh, 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 Zambia. Zambian people are going there. If you go to Nigeria, there are great men of God. He will not succeed. He will not do well there. I came to Nigeria. Today, we are having one of the largest congregations within a space of one year. Why? Do, so, if what makes you think that when I tell you that this will happen, it will not happen? Hmm? So I I just want to apologize to you people that joined me because you wanted me to speak about Africa. I, I I did actually. I spoke. I spoke about IMF, telling you IMF don't mean well for us. They want hunger to finish us. That's why they are telling our president to bring in subsidy in remove subsidy in their country there are subsidies if you go to uk there is there are subsidies in so many things if you go to usa there are subsidies and i blame hh because he was deceived if he was not deceived i'm telling you that guy was going to go far there was actually a day i told him to say when you finish ruling zambia for 10 years you must change the constitution and continue ruling I, I had all these plans tell me of all those people all of them that are now licking the boot of hh <laughs> eh, sa, sa. Uh -huh. like somebody like uh, 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 simon uh -huh. who is now the uh, the the greatest praise singer. Eh? Few few years ago, he was 
Ego one, anywhere uh, Eddie Galungu goes. Ego one, ego one, I salute you. Ego one, you are the best. Ego one. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's eight eighty seven, eight eighty seven, eight eighty seven. <laughs> father, father, father of the whole nation. <laughs> All those people that claim that they love eight eighty nine. Where are we are they? Do you know that when eight eighty was in no position? Before police arrest him, I am the first person that get the information. <laughs> One day, me and the church, we came from a long way. And when I tell you that he will go, when I tell you that he will go, if you want, if you want, eh, argue with me from here to Jerusalem. If I tell you that he will go, he's going. Because what I know about him, you don't know. I'm telling you. Before arrested, I will have the information in my hand that the church was being arrested. I don't want to talk about politics. Let's reserve it. Uh, Fred Member, Eddie Galungu, Harry Kalaba, uh, Emmanuel Mwamba, all of you, Put yourself together. Don't be distracted. Keep on organizing your part. It's going to be dynamic. I'm just waiting for you guys to give us a person. The person that you must bring must be a person that have good character. All the opposition, if I, I'm, I'm even saying all is too much. HH won election with 2.8 million. And I know what happened. Uh, that I'm not going to say time is coming. You will see for yourself. I told you. And when that time comes, we will know. But prepare yourself. Don't be afraid. Push your agenda. Organize your parties in few month time come together as an alliance and bring one single person and say we are going with this person leave the rest for us if we don't deliver and you hear me again take microphone and say praise the lord come here fool take care of yourselves and may god bless you Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.